Yo guys, before we get into this video, we are currently on the grind to 70,000 subscribers. According to my YouTube analytics, over 50% of my viewers aren't even subscribed. So make sure you hit that sub button right now and comment down below, hashtag Witness70K. For the cheapest and most trusted grinding services, go check out The Plug on Twitter and on Instagram for all your grinding needs. Link for those will be in the description and make sure you let them know Witness2K sent you for a discount. Yo, what's going on guys? Witness2K back on NBA2K21, my team, with yet another pack opening. We got some more idols, so it seems to be confirmed that... This time, every single week, we're going to get a new Idols uh, drop, which is pretty dope. Last week, we had Kawhi Leonard, Antoine Jameson, and Carl Anthony Towns. This time, we have Joel Embiid as the Idols card. Dark Matter, that card could be a serious problem. We've got a Gilbert Arenas as well. His cards are always pretty solid. And we've got this Dark Matter Bailey card. And Bailey cards in 2K21 have honestly been really nice. Like His Flash Diamond card was really good. There is, of course some galaxy apples as well but i mean it's the dark matters that we are going to be chasing i want joel Embiid the most i want bailey second we get a galaxy apple first pull but i want bailey second gilbert arenas third but we got about a million mt so we're diving into it guys so smack that like button right now to get us started uh, we pull paces looking like chris um but man what i gotta say is uh Kevin Durant, Kevin freaking Durant, if you saw or even just kept up to date with the Nets versus uh, uh, Bucks, that was, I would, you would, you would have to say that, that is arguably Kevin Durant's greatest performance in his career, he had 49 points, but on top of that, 17 rebounds, 10 assists, 3 steals, 2 blocks, shooting like 70%, he only shot the ball 23 times, something like that. It was an absolute insane performance. Nets going up 2-3, two, two, um, which is absolutely huge, you know. They have the uh, possibility to end that that round very soon. I got to say, though, I'm let down. 2K seriously let us down. I mean, they had an opportunity to drop something in-game for, for Kevin Durant. I mean... I understand if 2K want to do idols, sure, I get that. But, I mean, as soon as Durant, uh, the Nets won, I, I put a tweet out and said 2K should drop an Evo to Dark Matter Kevin Durant card for us. Why the hell not? Like, that would be such a good idea. And just from the people on my Twitter that saw it, everyone seemed to really enjoy that idea. And, like, how awesome would that be if 2K went ahead and gave us a Ruby Kevin Durant that Evo to Dark Matter, just like Russell, just like the Russell Westbrook card we got. So I really wish 2K could have done something, but because we don't have a regular Dark Matter Kevin Durant, we have the 98 out of positions Kevin Durant, but then it's invincible. There's no, we need that sort of in-between card, that Dark Matter Kevin Durant that is a really good KD card, but more affordable, not over, we don't, there's some people that aren't gonna pay a million, that can't afford and a million MT Kevin Durant card. But I don't know what's going on with 2K, you know, with what's going on at 2K headquarters, man. I mean, we've had an MVP. We've had Defensive Player of the Year. We've had some crazy performances. I don't know. 2K must just... I don't know if they're sleeping or what they're doing, but they just seem to completely ignore that. I mean, yeah, like I was saying, we've got these people winning these amazing awards like Nikola Jokic and the MVP. Or Rudy with the Defensive Player of the Year. You got Jordan Clarkson with, was he? I think he was Sixth Man of the Year. Like, 2K. This is this is where the the NBA is giving you free ideas where you don't have to think. You just got to make whatever 2K, whatever and the NBA says. You know what I'm saying? Like they're giving you the content. You don't have to think. You don't have to. You don't have to rub two brain cells together. You don't have to do a thing. You just got to make the content, put in the game. And then the fans are happy. It just seems so simple. I could be wrong. I'm sure I am completely wrong, but it just seems really simple. You know, I've I've seen 2K before. It's like minutes after someone's had a good performance, a new cards in packs like that. It literally happened in 2K20 with Zion Williamson. He dropped like 24 points, shot like a really good percentage. We got a pink diamond moments in packs instantly. 
So 2K can do it. They just don't always want to, or they just, I don't know. I don't think anyone, I don't think anyone at 2K actually watches the NBA, but the whole NBA playoffs has taken a drastic turn. We've got Chris Paul on like, um, COVID protocols or something like that. Like he's not allowed to play for a bit. We got Kawhi Leonard, I heard his knee or something. He's out indefinitely. I don't know how long for, but Kawhi Leonard's out for a bit. So the whole the whole shebang has really taken quite a twist in the NBA. So prayers up for um, the people that are injured or, or got COVID. But we got a dark matter pool right here. So that sort of messed with everything right there. I'm trying to, you know, I, I, I mean it. I'm not, I'm not joking around. Like seriously, prayers up for Chris Paul. And for Kawhi Leonard, like, I hate, you know, when the playoffs don't go. Like, Kyrie got injured, Harden's having problems. Like, I want everyone to be healthy, and I want everyone just to play ball. But we've got a Dark Matter pool right here, which is absolutely awesome. Yeah, bro, let's not delay it, bro. Just show me Joel and B. That's all. That's what I want. Show me Joel. Eastern Conference. That's Western Conference. 99, 41. That is going to be Bailey. I think this card is going to be really good. Like, just don't sleep. Please don't sleep on this card. Actually, sleep on him so it's cheap for people to pick up. But I think he's going to be such a good card. But that is a really good pull. And we're about 200k in, so it's not too bad at all. And not a bad little start. I would like to really get Joel Embiid in this pack opening. You know, that would really be um, amazing. But we've only had two shakes in about a little bit over 200,000 MT I think if my if I remember if I remember correctly but yeah two shakes so the odds aren't amazing I guess but if we are getting a shake it's a dark matter or a galaxy opal at least we got another galaxy opal pull right here I mean opals they're not that exciting anymore you know where I mean I, me personally I'm chasing dark matters but I mean there's gonna be a decent amount of XP again but I don't know if that many people are really grinding XP anymore because like, Luke is just so... This is actually going to be a really good card right here, but Luke is just so easy to get. You know, like I'm a no money spent player and I was able to get him within the first week. So I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth it. I, I mean, we've, I've already spoken about this, but I'm really thinking that 2K going to release some more levels into uh into the season grind soon for another invincible card maybe nikola Jokic. that makes sense that would be a pretty good content so i mean we'll see so we just pulled the galaxy opal hunter right here i've pulled all three of the new galaxy opals which is good you know i do like to get all of the new cards that come out in packs if i can but i really would like just one more dark matter pool and the less packs it's going to take me to get there the better like I'd love to get it a dark matter pool in my next pack rather than spend the, six, the rest of my 600k MT and get another dark matter pool then. Another Galaxy Opal pool right here. I have no idea who the most expensive one is. Probably the Spurs player, who I think we got again right here. We do. That's probably going to be the most expensive one because he can play point guard. He's off, uh, defensively going to be really nice. So that Opal Murray, man, I think could be a serious problem. And these Opals, man, they sell for so cheap. Like, if you're messing with Opals still, take a look at that one right there if you need a point guard. Because, yeah, he could look after you. He'll look after your team, especially that point guard position. Now that we've got, you know, you're running into Ben Simmons, Magic Johnson, freaking LeBron James, Giannis Antetokounmpo, we're coming across some real, some real heavy cheese at the moment. And we're, that, we're on that home stretch of 2K21 at the moment. It is going to get easier and easier and easier to get cheap, more cheesy um, cards at the point guard and even shooting guard position. So you got to get ready to lock that the hell down, especially if you're playing my team unlimited. You need to lock that down. If this isn't a sign, I don't know what is. We pulled the man himself, the Slim Reaper. Yo, I know it's only a serious threat, but I'm glad that we're able to get that KD card. That means a lot. Send him to the auction. We're going to open up a few more packs right here. One Dark Matter pull might be all we do in this uh, Idols pack opening. I don't really want to go ham with these, you know. It's midweek content, and 
I'm pretty sure Friday's content is going to be pretty nutty. So I'm going to be preparing for that. But we have another pack opening, another Galaxy Oval pool. I will be doing another pack opening this time tomorrow as well because we're going to have another season rewind, which I hope is a lot better than the last one we got because the last one we got was not good. We need a much, much, much better one than that. But this is, I mean, I am liking the Idols midweek content because, I mean, it's... It's like just a lot, it's a lower end Friday's content, which is perfect, you know, because not everyone's actually available to open up packs and play the game during the week. But a Joel Embiid midweek is awesome. Kawhi Leonard and Antoine Jameson and Carly Anthony Towns last, uh, this time last week. That's crazy midweek content. So I'm not going to complain about that. I'm definitely happy the 2K are dropping that type of, uh, that type of content. But let's go around and open up two more packs right here. To wrap it up, no shakes. It's all up to this last one right here to see if we can clutch something. But we did pull that Dark Matter Bailey, who, again, could arguably be the best card that came out today. Um, but it will probably be Joel B because that card looks nice. Final pack, no shakes, but I'm cool with it. We pulled Hella Galaxy Opals in this one. We pulled the best player in the world, which is the Kevin Durant card that we got and we did get a Dark Matter pool as well. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this Idols pack opening video. Make sure you all go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. Drop a like on this video as well, and I'll catch you guys on the next upload. It's been witnessed.